Hello, everybody! Welcome to the Dead Unicorn. Today, we'll be making content not suitable for YouTube. <laughs> Once again. That's right, you guessed it. Ever? We're doing a, a tabletop role-playing game. <laughs> Get your lawyers ready! Uh, my name's Corey. We're going to be playing Legend of the Five Rings uh, here on Cyber Samurai Sunday. Uh, I thank everyone for joining. We're doing Shadow Empire. I mean, you read the title. You know what this is. Come on. Thank you to our patrons scrolling in the bottom down there. You can see them all. They're wonderful. Actually, I, I forgot one of our newest patrons, Londrevd. Londrevd, thank you for your support. We have a poll that for the person who will get a special benefit this game, if you are part of the uh, the Patreon, you get to vote. And our winner is Moshi Sora, played Yay! by Crystal. Um, our I'm polls go up hopefully tomorrow. If not, like, yell at me and I will get the poll <laughs> up. <laughs> Promise. Yeah, you will. Um, Questionable. <laughs> We're starting off strong with the not suitable for YouTube today. If you titillate me enough, my poll will get up. I'm, I'm pretty, yeah. pretty sure. <laughs> Just keep teasing. And then eventually. Keep it off screen, all right? <laughs> Remember, these sizes are appropriate. <laughs> Why do you have tiny grippers? <laughs> are I found, the, I found these at the grocery store and I was amused. Keep They're amusing silicone-tipped tongs for small things. Like mm -hmm. hot dogs. Like ice cubes. Uh -huh. Yeah, ice cubes. Thank uh -huh. you. <laughs> Moshi Sora is... Super tall and lanky. She uses fire spells, um, any of which can be used to heal someone, which is super cool. I think it's awesome. My name is Tarek, and I play Shishiro Kuranaki, and uh, this is my favorite restaurant on the Citadel. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I'm playing a Scorpion, Shishiro, uh, family member. She is a Shigenja slash warrior bushi slash ninja and she has a fun time um most people think she is benign and mostly helpful and uh i am glad that they think that bayushi narin uh is being played by moi sasha hey that rhymed that was on accident um she is a uh by of the bayushi death dealer school and she likes to fight people she's that kid in the courtyard who like when you piss her off she just stares you down and she's like fight me so i play doji daisuke he is a uh, posh little crane that uh, likes uh likes to listen and hear about rumors and maybe spread a few of them from time to time but uh, he is um, as far as i can tell the legal voice of the group i play ide youngso and as the poll calls him he's the tiny spy because <laughs> he is quite possibly the shortest member of our group, easily disappearing behind Moshi Sora, even with how lanky she is. Uh, he's unicorn, kind of conflicted about his role in life in a lot of ways, because he'd rather just be a musician, but his family needs him to be the spot. Let's begin. Who do we want to start with? Um, it's 8.30 and Daisuke and Sora are just finishing up their breakfast and they need to get out and do something it's the first hour of the festival and while most of the booths are open you know there's some stragglers some late people trying to get their stuff together music hasn't started yet people are just kind of exploring and it's not a lot of people right now as the day goes on more people will probably filter in until you know you're bumping shoulders and shoving people out of the way to, to get to your favorite store kiosk or uh game but as of right now it's it's kind of nice people will be dressed up as much as possible the ladies will uh wear their fancy yukatas with elaborate hairstyles and men wear their jimbeis some of the more outgoing guys will just wear shorts and be like bare chested or maybe just like wear a, a loose fitting haori like a jacket like a jacket with no shirt on underneath and some shorts. <laughs> Season for it. There's food. There's gift shops. 
There are games. Most of the games, though, are for the kitties. For, you know, there are children running around. You notice that there are some, like, fighting exhibition places where there later on in the day there will be fights. Cool. And there are little makeshift stages uh, where there will be some sort of performances happening. So I think Daisuke would probably uh, like uh, go to a few of the food stall, uh, stalls and sample the local cuisine. And then he's probably going to try uh, try looking at some of the performances. That would be within his wheelhouse of interests. All right. Well, they got tons of food here. There's people making uh, takoyaki, uh, on- onanomiyaki, yakitori, taiyaki, all of that good Good, good. All the you know, festival food. All that festival food. You can get ramen, soba noodles. They, there's so so many noodle places. <laughs> well, I believe today would be more of a protein day than a carb loading day, but I could probably have a few carbs here and there. <laughs> <laughs> this is a festival. This is nothing mm-hmm. but fried food, carbs. That's what this thing is for, man. That's You don't go to a festival because you're dieting. <laughs> yeah, yeah you go that. for the turkey leg and funnel cake. It's a cheat day. Sure. That's what festival pickle. days. Or I can go for uh, for a um, cheat Just day. Your oh wait, day. this is Doji. If it's a, a no carb day, that is his cheat day. <laughs> Normally for him, he's on a seafood diet. He sees it, he eats it. Yeah, so <laughs> mold, Would you call that a like seas mold. food? How dare you, sir, uh, sirs and madams? I have a little more class than that. Well, it's okay. Oh, really? We're not here. <laughs> no, really. The last time we there was an unintended goza left on a plate. Before we left, you made sure to eat it. <laughs> he ate well, it no one else style. was taking it, so... I I just imagine he, he ran up to the table like Zoidberg and grabbed it. <laughs> <laughs> and left the room the same way. <laughs> you will hear distant drum beats. As you look down the road, you see a parade heading your way. People just following this parade that is coming down the streets of uh, the Rich Frog. And there's drummers drumming, and there's uh, lion dancers dancing, and there are people with uh, like uh, streamers and and whatnot swirling around and then there's guys holding uh, a, a big old palanquin throne kind of thing and on their backs of walking it down and on it sits Shozo <laughs> <laughs> now really the festival is beginning as this parade moves through the streets people come out of their houses to see what's going on and then they follow the parade down to the festival square and suddenly it's just inundated with people. Shozo go to this little house uh, right here. That is where Shozo will check out the festivities. It looks like the festival grounds and the festival has really begun. As the music begins to, to play in the, in the area and the players for the plays start their you know their performances and the rings for like the sumai start their exhibitions and all of that stuff all happening at once yeah i wouldn't mind uh hitting where yeah, was the it boat, the, the, boat. Was, the boat place yeah there's a there's a a dock that we could go to supposedly specifically um i think that the person that i need to talk to is probably going to be at the festival being the governor. I think there's a solid chance that that's where he will be. But if you want to go to the boathouse before then. Okay, boathouse it is. Um, Is the unicorn going to tag along or... Since they helped me, it's only right to help them. Oh, I don't know that you want to participate in this. I don't know if you want to participate in this. (laughs) I mean, the last time we went to... uh, some mafia territory they came out swinging immediately so who knows it might yeah. be kind of a crazy ride we might get blood on new clothes yada, yada. fair enough you might be you might find some excitement here who knows and it might be good to have an extra body or an extra person who knows how to hide a body oh look a fox swiper no swiping 
Oh, a random husband. A random <laughs> husband. A wild there's husband a, appears. There's a tanuki looking creature on top of the boathouse. You make your way over to where the boathouse is. It takes you a while to get there, but you eventually do. You see uh, Hiderihito lounging on the, the street sign there. Once again in plain's clothes, gonna be like, Drat, guys, you're yep. ruining my cover. Yep. Naren's eyes like trail on the ducks in the water before she looks at her husband. Oh, hi, Oji-san. Ah, good morning. How are you, Kuranagi-san? I'm doing good. Good to see you, too. Yeah. I heard you had a... I heard things are, are uh, going pretty well now. Yes, um, I got pinched by a magistrate. Uh, he now thinks that I owe him a favor, and we were able to condemn a kitsu, so all in all, I guess it's pretty good. Yeah, the kitsu thing is what I was talking about. Yeah, the whole getting pinched thing wasn't great, but still, good results. Oh, now Rinsan has been doing good too. How yes. you doing, Naren? I am well. How are you? You're always doing well. <laughs> yes, he is. Well, I'm sure you're here to talk to the Boseki. Yeah. Do you know anything about the Boseki's, like, structure I've been watching here? them. Basically, they use this, uh, this little boathouse to harass people going up and down the river. They think you got something they want. They'll try and board you and take your stuff. Sounds like a rough operation. Well, then hopefully we just have to look like too much trouble. Or not enough trouble so that they don't. Two different schools of thought. I suppose <laughs> so. Um, Iri-san, do you mind joining us? This is, um, this is. Bayushi-san's husband. Hey, Derihito. Nice to meet you. A pleasure. He's a sweetheart. Isn't that right, Oji-san? Kunagi says that she's sweet as his arm. He's Say, also big and strong. I couldn't interest you in a little bit of uh, opium. To smoke? Or to sell? Are you, you want me to try to sell opium to the Poseki? I mean, couldn't hurt, right? I mean, explicitly, it's supposed to stop the hurt, right? It also might keep them quiet during the festival so they don't harass boats during the festival. And we all like quiet, don't we? Especially so. Shh! Unless it's a good song, then that needs to be played loud. Oh, yes. Perhaps sure. not here, though. Music. Hmm. Were you intending to stay here and watch the Boseki instead of attending the festival? Me? Oh. No, she, she says looking at her husband. Oh, I'm just waiting on the festival for right now. I don't want to... <sighs> Your crane friend. Friend? I, mean, I understand, Narn that he's no friend of yours, but he seems to hang out with you a lot lately. That's very strange. I can't really get rid of him, as he was also tasked by the White Dragon. It would be improper. If we were to suddenly discover that he was floating down a river, probably would ask a lot of questions. He's playing a dangerous game. Oh. And what would you know of that? I don't imagine he can run very fast. I don't know. Dangerous games aren't. What happens? But let's, oh, let's we've say seen him run pretty fast before, just not very. No, far. he struggled to get over that gate. Unless memory isn't serving right, but I remember seeing a lot of heavy breathing and hunching over. He still moved fast initially. He just didn't get far. Okay, so sprinter, not a long distance runner. I just want to warn you. If you do care about this, uh, 
Doji Daisuke at all. You might want to tell him to back off. I tell him to back off often, and does it need to involve any sort of care, or can I just say it because I want to? <laughs> Do you mean against someone in particular, or against Nauru? Do you not know what he's up to? Oh. I am completely I unaware. Haven't made a huge dedication of my time to understanding what he gets into. I thought it was mostly getting into restaurants and the occasional parlor. Let me ask you something. Let's say you run in a business, right? Yeah, yeah sure. You no, we would not like to buy any opium. <laughs> and you're well, training I mean, up. You're training up some employees, right? Yeah. And suddenly, someone from outside comes in and starts poaching your employees. Right? Very rude. Very rude. One might say presumptuous. So, once loyalty has been bought or earned, it should be stayed. It's a dangerous game. I mean, between upstanding organizations, you can have different opinions, but... Let's say, let's say the company you're, you're poaching employees from, well, they, they don't have any scruples. And they take your interference as, you know, a, a slight. Oh. You can see how this is going to go. I think I now know what you're talking about. The three Keru he employed. I heard it was two, but... Two. I, numbers. The past few days have been rather eventful. Who even has time for numbers? I figured it would be rather uneventful for him to employ two of those thugs, and it would likely bite him in the ass. As such, I saw it was not my place to interfere. Hey, if he's not your friend, don't worry about it. He's gotta kick his own lumps, you know? Learn if he's gonna be part of this game. Bumps all around, then. Ah, yes. Well, perhaps when we return, we'll give him a stern talking to, if it becomes relevant. Hey, good luck with the Moseki in there. There's a few in there. I don't think they're... they have an underboss here? I don't know. They all seem pretty, uh, weak. What would, what, in your opinion, would be the best way to approach this boathouse without getting jumped? Hmm. Since, you know, I have been officially warned off of taking any more heads. Apparently it is bad form. Down upon in some circle? I think I have an idea based upon your offer earlier. If we come bearing gifts and make that be known ahead of time, we're less likely to be attacked. And then we give them the opium and we don't have to worry about a fight. Unicorn smart, smart guy. It's why we keep him around. He's a good friend, too. I have my moments. <laughs> you know, you treat people with respect. You get respect back. It's wisdom from Oji-san. Kurnagi, I'm yes. not an old man. No, but you're my uncle. Now Rin's eyes widen, like, in the slightest amount no, no. <laughs> Never no. called him as uh, her she, uncle. She considers herself related to every uh, Naurin, and Naurin uh, is married to him, so she he's her uncle. Oh yeah, you guys need to fish, uh, fix fix your names. names. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah I need, yeah. To, I I need to do that. Hold on. Lefty says, um, Hideri Hideru Hideri Hito. We'll turn to Shasiro Kurnagi and Bayushinar and say, uh, I don't care how we're related. You don't call me that. Oh, my bad. I'm sorry. Um, should I call you Hidori Hito, son? Yeah. Kun? You can. Hidori Hito Kun? Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> San? <laughs> so San, then. San is okay. just fine. Thank you. 
He looks over at Narin like, can you control her? (laughs) She just (laughs) smiles pleasantly at him, which means no. (laughs) (laughs) And since she got that mask, it's more a slight head tilt while getting it to the eyes. It's yeah, exactly. It's like a head tilt, and they like. Okay, well, if you want, I'll talk to them about opium, and see if we can make an arrangement. Just sir, hmm. can I hmm? can I talk to you? Yeah, of course. Come, come on over here, and he'll. Waddles over. He'll uh, move into the trees over here. Hello. He says, uh, you know, you want to call me OG son, I'll let you do it. <laughs> oh, no, no. If, if I ever am actually an OG son, which means I need some kids. <laughs> I gotta get Narin over there. You know. So you want me to take her pace? Her pace? Yeah. The pace that she takes so that she doesn't get pregnant. Oh, yeah. <laughs> mm, yeah. Just change that out. That would be nice. <laughs> okay. Kuranagi, are you not afraid of death? And then, and then you can call me Oji san all you want. <laughs> Do you okay. not fear God? <laughs> he, he goes, when you go, okay, he goes, shh. Naren is busy staring at ducks uh, unaware. <laughs> Just keep this between me and you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Good job, OG. Thanks. Thanks, Carl. Oh, it's yeah. very nice. <laughs> <laughs> um, you can trust me. <laughs> were either of them doing anything to block the view of their mouth besides going further away? Oh, uh, yeah, he's trying to hide behind tree- these trees. So if you want to uh, angle yourself so you can see them, you're going to have to make some sort of roll. Any particular TN? It's going to be the highest vigilance among them. Just looks over at you with a little daggers in her eyes. like. Oh, wow. Okay, Everybody they notices end up you. Noticing. <laughs> All right. When you kind of move to, uh, to kind of observe them, Hideri Hito will be like, We'll, we'll stop instantly and and move both of you <laughs> go further, further into over. the trees and it totally fails. <laughs> <laughs> They're trying well, to because find I out noticed doing. the movement now. I wasn't really going to do it before and just look at the ducks, but now now I am going to do it. Okay, any specific difficulty or hidden uh, Tian? Difficulty three. Yeah, guys, I'm not eavesdropping. I'm just nope. trying to get a better look at the ducks. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I can't get close enough to hear them then. <clears throat> yeah, when every time you get closer to them, uh, they, away a they notice, at least Hideri Hito notices. Oh, well, I wasn't trying to get closer to them, so if I if I don't hear them from where I am, mm-hmm. I'm not going to like chase after them. I've been standing there the whole time. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Well, that's um, your problem. That's that's your biggest problem. You can't hear them from she, there. She cares a little bit. She got a little interested after seeing Ide trying to eavesdrop and then immediately lost interest again. You, I'm going to say this. You do hear uh, Kuranagi say, oh, and then you hear, shh. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, then Kuranagi's going to get grilled later. <laughs> so they'll come on back out. So uh, they, they come on back. And Hideo Hito says, well, good luck with the Boseki. We'll be watching over Thank here you. just to make sure nothing happens. We'll probably need it. Yeah. Uh, Before you go not. or stay here, whichever, uh, you plan to do about that opium? Oh, yeah. He pulls out uh, a bag and he, he tosses it at you. Thank you. Don't get my wife killed. Um, actually, I did think of something to use that opportunity for because it might be relevant. Um, I feel like Navrin would probably know this already, given that Kurnagi is her partner. But for the sake of using it, uh, let's learn Kurnagi's uh, disadvantage, one of them, with that. 
uh, one opportunity. She definitely does have a fear of death, like a very ever-present fear of death. (laughs) And so maybe when she goes back, she's like eyeballing you a little bit. Y'all are going to come up to the Boseki area and let me uninvisible these guys. How do I do that? Oh, like this. When we're in a calling range, I'll shout out, Greetings to the boathouse! They all kind of look at each other and they say, go, go figure out who these guys are. One guy will run up, he'll come up to here, and he'll say, uh, hey, it's private property. Peace, we come bearing gifts. Gifts? I don't know you. Oh, but we want to know you guys better. Nauren has a, the disadvantage whispers of cruelty and considering she the thing that happened mm-hmm. with, with the do- Dokugaru with the Dokugaru I'm wondering if they might recognize her and if that might if that might come up so to bring that yeah up. when Kurnagi says but we want to know you that that's a super trigger that's that is like a really terrible thing to say <laughs> <laughs> and the guy the guy instantly like turns back and starts running back and he's like guys we got clan samurai here oh no no no, no. hey hold, hold on um We're bringing I, gifts i meant i meant i meant we came with positive tidings um you know you're here to help he turns back around and he's he's moved back quite a bit because he doesn't trust you guys at all but I do say that. I say, we're here to help. We got rid of some of your wife. Naren is going to like very pointedly keep her hands clasped in front of her so that it's very evident that she's not like hold, like having she's some trying, sort of weapon. She's trying her best. <laughs> and I'm not holding to... up that bag of opium. She's trying to look as non-threatening as she's physically able to while having a resting bitch face. <laughs> he goes, oh, you were those samurai who, uh, who messed up the stables tell you what get rid of your weapons you can come on in oh I don't have any (laughs) now Ren looks at her sword and her other sword and her other sword (laughs) yeah I have her so that's a fair point is he that Hito still kind of chilling on the other edge of the bridge yeah 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 excuse me and then she turns around and starts to walk to the other side of the bridge so the guy looks directly at Kurnagi and says, uh, you're a scorpion. You got weapons on you just because I can't. I know the I know the rumors. You pull out a weapon and and get rid of it before that I can see before you come on over here. OK, OK. I pull a Yumi out of my, my uh, the back of my kimono before I put it out to the side. <laughs> all right, all right, you can come in now. <laughs> I take my katana out and lean it against the uh, bridge. Okay. I'm impressed. I'm glad that you guys have done your homework. <laughs> and Naren uh, starts handing her various swords to Hidehito, uh <laughs> leaving only a dagger on her person. He's like, oh, yeah, now everybody knows that. Uh, I'm sure you can handle it. And then walks <laughs> off. He'll lead you back to the other group. And he'll say, uh, hey guys. They say they're disarmed. I don't see any swords on them at the very least. And this ugly guy comes on over. He says, uh, I heard you got a gift. Hold up the bag of opium. Cross it to him. He'll grab it. He looks at it and he's like, hey guys we got our own festival right here. And he passes it back and they're like, hey so what can we do for you? Hello um, my name is Kurunagi. It is a pleasure to meet you. You guys are with the Boseki, right? We're the Keru. Well yeah, of course. Everyone in the city is Keru. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. The they call us the Bosaki. Oh. Good. Well, um, we wanted to come and introduce ourselves. We hear that you guys have an interesting operation going. No, we do okay. Until that, uh, that asshole Asobe gets what he deserves, uh, we got something in the works. Perhaps having allies in the right place could be a different thing. What, what is this? Is the scorpion gonna help us, uh, kill some, some fake frogs? Already have. Oh, that's true, that's true. And if you know how to play your cards right, you might be able to position yourself really well. So, but, uh, to be honest, it's one of the few times I've seen Naren smile. <laughs> I, I don't You saw her smile under that thing? It reached her eyes for once. <laughs> well, oh, man. Gun got what he deserved. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I'm sure you want to talk to somebody higher up than me. Look, everybody's having fun at the festival today. But you know what? We can arrange a meeting. What? I, w- I need an idea what you're looking for from us. Well, I hear that there's some good trade in the city that could be uh, providing interesting opportunities for me and the people that I represent. So you just want a cut? Well, perhaps not just a cut. Perhaps we could have communication on a few different options that we can approach. Not just um, a one-way view. We there want to make sure so that we many, bring prosperity to so many here. In this and there are so many products that people want that well, you have your means of getting them in. But with such a bustling trade city, like one on top of the Three Fingers River, well, possibilities are quite endless. Play cool, you play too coy or, or ignorant. There is much opportunity for my clan and my friend to find adequate resources here. And I'm hoping that you and your family can help us to achieve that. Well, I'll tell the boss. We'll see what happens. And he'll say uh, to meet him at this uh, bar and like have your guys meet his guys at a bar and a uh, a week. I have Thank a so much for your time. I have a quick out of character question, just because I don't want to be confused about something. Will we be able to make it back for a meeting within a week? Are we leaving? It's city? not us. It's going to be somebody else. We're, we're, we're putting. Putting. We're getting the in, and then they're going to take, take that, that in. And look. Is that what's happening? Yep. 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 Y'all are just uh, setting up the meeting for the bigger people who can make more decisions to do so. Well, it was very pleasant meeting you. Enjoy your new gift, and let's hope it's the beginning of a long and fortuitous relationship. Yeah, you're not bad, Scorpion son. See you later. Right now, you will offer a, a polite bow and turn and start skipping away. As we walk away, I say loudly enough for them to hear. I'm so glad these were much more intelligent than the last group we walked up on. And so much more friendly. <laughs> it's always a pleasure making friends. Grunagi says that she literally is skipping away. <laughs> collect my katana. Oh yeah, I collect my 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 uni. That's her. All right, uh, Hideri Hito will return the katana, and uh, he says, uh, "Good job." I'll be. Uh, probably the one talking to these losers when uh time comes but uh glad you're well, able to to break the ice as it seems it like you'll have a warm welcome by that. if this is a uh profitable business opportunity my uncle may be interested in joining as well would you mind if i told him how to contact you yeah I'd love to meet your uncle. Thank you for your help. Always a pleasure. (laughs) Enjoy the festival now. I'll be there a little later. Perhaps 
perhaps we can enjoy the festivities together. I will likely be finding something sweet. That's why she's stuck around with someone like you. I say as I move him up nose. She's already left. Is is Kurnagi sleeping with Narn's husband? Is that what's happening here? No. <laughs> no. Hi, Uncle. Oh god. No. <laughs> You boop him uh, on the nose and be like, if you're thinking of Nalrin. I just imagine, I just imagine Nalrin is like so straight faced and like focused and, and calm all the time that Kuranagi has to be the like, she, she has to play the face of like, oh yeah, this is fun and okay. And not only that, but I want to make both of them feel uncomfortable. And the best way to do that is to be the only way you're getting that man some scorpion children is if you do. <laughs> I mean, steal scorpion children and then bring them in. <laughs> sure. Well, I mean, at least now he has options. He's got two ladies to choose. No, the illegitimate children don't count. <laughs> oh. Oh, but what right. if? But what if he gets drunk enough that he can't tell the difference? Huh? Huh? Between yeah, the wait, nice children, wait, Nauren disappears can't tell the difference between and back and goes, Here's your damn big kid, belly and, and Nauren's away. big belly. He's got to be drunk for sick for nine months. <laughs> no, no, she just disappears after that night for nine months and then comes back and goes, Here's your kid. Here you go. <laughs> I, mean, I, I just imagine that Kuranagi likes to make both of them annoyed. Um, and that's why she behaves like that whenever they're out. <laughs> All right, guys, festival. Yeah. You can meet up with everybody else, exchange notes, do all the things you want to do. Sounds good. We'll just happen to run into each other. I've got no notes to exchange. Oh, um, man. you don't say that. I'm definitely wanting to get some spicy booze. Booze. I, want- spicy I like how you said booze? that. It's uh, horse meat dumplings. Oh, okay. I was thinking B O O Z E. Same. <laughs> I just want some mochi somewhere. It's Nauren's favorite. And of oh. course, when we find a, uh, a stall selling the uh, horse meat dumplings, I'm definitely turning to Nauren because I've already tried with Kuranagi before or offering these and go, you have to try this. Never. Eat the horsey. Eat it. <laughs> yeah, Nauren, maybe you'll like it. My favorite food. I plan on finding some sweets. I should stay away mm. from more foods, lest I end up like Daisuke. <laughs> well, it's just one dumpling, just to try. I'm sure yeah, that's what that's Daisuke said at one point. <laughs> are these oh, things... you don't want to end up like me, darling. <laughs> How are you so quiet? Where did you come from? <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Like, uh, I was uh, saying it out of character, just like, hey, you know, we, in character, we're all supposed to meet We all just random. met together, so this is like the first oh, time she's noticing so you're here. That would be a hilarious way to meet up. surprisingly <laughs> quiet for a large man. <laughs> <laughs> all right, then I'll just come up there saying, oh, you wouldn't really be like me, darling. I'm just like licking my fingers from what I ate. <laughs> while I have beans? two of the dumplings stuffed in my cheeks already and eating a third. Where did you get the bun? <laughs> Ooh, what are those? I'm sampling the cuisines. I haven't come across that yet. Spicy booze. Hmm. And what are the contents? Oh, there are delicacies. You should try it. <laughs> it's uh, spices, some mushroom, a bit of onion, some herbs, and some horse meat. meat. Yeah. Hmm. That Formal actually sounds meat. quite interesting. All right, I'll give it a try. We're still young. We can, uh, we can always explore every corner. Of- every corner of the festival, I say, coming oh. up eating taiyaki. <laughs> ah, Sara, welcome back. How was, uh, how was your excursion? Oh, she's on. Oh, it's been pleasant. I'm sure you've had a good time as well, Daisuke-san. Oh, most certainly. Uh, like, uh, Daisuke pats his stomach. Oh, <laughs> quite, uh, quite, uh, quite a filling morning, to say the least. <laughs> Here, Sora-san, try some booze. Oh, well, thank you. Naren has, like, wandered off to go find some sweets. Don't the one so quickly now and your legs are longer. Not fair. You should eat more. You'll stunt your growth and you'll stay small like that forever. Well, 
Yeah, but I can't just eat sweets. I like savory things and bitter. Well, there is no accounting for taste. Narn <laughs> finds herself <laughs> in line at a kiosk with a whole bunch of children. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, if only I could capture that somehow. No. Hmm. You and notice, if like, uh, if like a kid cuts in front of Narvin, her eyebrow just twitches a little, <laughs> and she's like, "Must not." Be young, and they're children. young. They'll learn. Must not yeah. hurt children. You notice no, a couple I of them want sweets after eating the booze, so I get in line too. And some of the kids are taller than me. <laughs> you notice some of the kids in line? They have bags with goldfish. Yep, a wax bag. That that sounds like what's happening around yeah. here <laughs> and y'all can get your sweets y'all can get your food y'all can spend uh, f- uh from five zenny to a boo on however much you want to eat and drink and there's also uh festival gifts you can get you mean like um the equivalent of getting a a con t-shirt <laughs> there are <laughs> Fans, both folding and circular fans, and yes, that they they will have little signs for the festival on those fans. That's that's the uh, the equivalent of a con T-shirt is buying a fan with a with like a symbol on it. Yeah, with a symbol with on it. I am going to get one of those festival fans. Excellent. I want a sake set. <laughs> I kind of want a fan as well. All right, y'all can get some fans. The fans are, they're cheap fans. Uh, they're, but they're overpriced for the festival. They're too zenny. <laughs> you know what? I think I'll, uh, I'll have a little fun and get, uh, get one of those festival masks. Naren is kind of like strolling around and looking at everything, but also pointedly looking for something in specific. Um, specifically, she's looking to see if she can spot the governor here. So you want to find Mia Genda. He is available. He's got um, guards with him that are looking like guards, but you they're definitely like, they're not guards, but they're guards that are with him at all times. <laughs> he is talking to a vendor and they're having a, a very heated argument. Of course, he's going to win it. He's the governor. You, once he's done with that, you can approach him. I have Shuji that let me get to know more things about people I'm playing games with. So are there any sorts of games going on that I could potentially convince or try to convince the governor to join in on? Like, are there people playing cards or any other sort of adult games? Or is it just that one um, that one game with the hammers and there's, the stack of There's that game blocks? with the hammers, but Shozo is up here at this little um, I don't know. This Maybe there's house. like a go tournament or something. And that seems upscale, and there might be a go board in there. I have a games kit, which I suppose could be any one of those in my inventory. The stream. Um, I don't know the difference yeah. between go or shogi, but I, I could have either one of those in my items. I just don't know what they are. So he's more like chess, and go is more like. Go is a game where you have black and white stones, and your job is to surround the other person's stones with your stones in order to capture territory. Okay. Until the game goes to a point where there's no point in continuing it any further. Shoji is a game where you have different pieces, and those pieces do different things depending on the what that piece is called. And like your objective shit. is to capture the other person's king or general, so it's very much like chess. Then I think I'll go with uh, Shoji. So Shoji? Shoji. Shogi. Shogi? Shogi. Okay. Shogi. It's like chess. It's- okay. While we're walking around me and Kurnagi, um, Naren will kind of uh, say to her quietly when they're like a good uh, distance away before the end of the festival. I'm if uh, nothing else, I'll try uh, playing some games that I might set up and need you to help oh, I- guide some players my way. Okay. okay. I thought you were just going to come right out and challenge them to a game of chess. You should. 
I might. Um, I, I, I have well, a lot of, like, I'm not super exactly sure how I'm supposed to go about what I'm trying to do well, here, so. What I would think is maybe a good way of doing this is you can try to talk to him over a game of Shoji, and then I will go around and start talking to people about him and see what we can find out. All right. Okay, you so approach, then, yeah. you approach me again, If he's distracted, he won't be able to hear about it people asking questions for sure keep them keep them occupied okay i can definitely do that you approach me again though and mm-hmm. he will say oh bayushi son and bow well, i hope you're enjoying the festival it is rather nice to be out and about and to not have any sort of serious duties to attend to i suppose i and tell you food is rather nice i tell you what the The job of a samurai is grisly sometimes, and it's good! It's good to enjoy these moments, Bayushi-san. Don't... We we don't have to be so uh, beholden to our jobs here. We can be uh, much freer. And maybe let down our mask, if you know what I mean. She, uh, she takes... She'll take that quite literally and take her mask off. Uh, and stow it. And uh, she'll say, I have been on my feet for quite a long time today, but I could certainly do with some of your wisdom if you'd like to have a chat over a game. And she pulls out her board. I was just looking for some place to set up. I would love a game. Come on, let's go to the uh, pavilion over there. Uh, We can... We can have a game on the patio. That sounds wonderful. And you two can move on up to this place. And Shozo was there sitting on a, uh, like a little, like a little folding chair, watching the festivities. People come up to him and they, you know, they, they're very polite and they bow and they're like, oh yes, I love you so much and thank you. And he's like, oh yes. Well, you know, he's, he's just like constantly receiving guests and he's oh, sipping way, on tea and uh, you can see behind Ronaki, the mask, he's doing a lot of eye rolling. Furunaki comes uh, up to um, Naurin before, like after she talks and sits down with them, but before like taking off to go and, and do her own thing and says, uh, oh, cousin, um, could you uh, give me some extra spending money so that I can use it to get snacks and festival stuff? Um, she just smiles at Naren. Uh Using my uh, bond, I'm going to say something to Naren that is not actually saying out loud, which is I'm going to need money to bribe people to get information if you want to get good stuff. Okay, fine. Get that uh... good, good. Let me see here. Just just four words. I need bribe money. Yeah, yeah that's enough. I need bribe <laughs> money. That, those are the eyes. I need bribe, bribe money. money. Yeah. Uh, you know, Naren, like, looks at Kuranagi because Kuranagi knows that Naren does not approve of bribing. Um, but she knows Kuranagi doesn't give a shit about bribing. So <laughs> she'll like roll her eyes and say, don't spend it all in one place. And I expect you to bring me back the change. Uh, and... and receipts if I can. <laughs> <laughs> and if I find my backpack is full of fireworks later, there will be dire consequences. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't just love fireworks at all. She says, Pushing some fireworks back down into her bag. <laughs> okay, um, I'll hand I'll hand her an extra koku for bribe money. All right, uh, arigato, cousin. We are at the end of the game, <laughs> the the L five R game, not the. Um, it's time for us to go. Unfortunately, uh, it's going to be a one XP game, and we'll pick up next week with the shogi game and the information that Kuranagi will get and the lack of information that Moshi Sora and, and Doji Daisuke have gotten. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all were, were just too busy eating spicy buns to tell them anything. What can you say? Spicy buns. <laughs> Breach of loyalty for uh, Kuranagi. <laughs> 
either you're breaching your loyalty to your friend uh, Naren or breaching the loyalty to her husband when you agreed to to do a dirty underhanded thing and you won't do it. So we're going to give you a major breach of honor, lose two times your honor rank. I mean, Fair enough. honestly, yeah, I mean, that seems there legit, was no honestly. good answer here. <laughs> This is why when Lefty asks you something, you just walk away like Naurin does. Accepting and then giving drugs, uh, legal substances, that would be uh, Youngso. Youngso also loses two times his honor for a major breach of honor. Major? Wow. So for Kurnagi, dealing uh, with uh, 'er ne'er-do-wells and setting up a meeting in uh, good faith with them is a minor breach. So lose one times your honor. Dealing in what what? You kind of cut out. Dealing with ne'er-do-wells. Your duty and loyalty to the clan is appreciated. Gain six points of honor. What about a minor for her back being loyal to my friends? And now, Ren, because this wasn't her gear either. But we help each other out. I mean, you weren't supposed to be. You didn't have to be there. So, they sure, were I'll, there give for you, me. I'll give you one point of honor each, a trifling award for that. Ten points of glory for Kurnagi for resolving Giri. Yay! Doji Dice K. I took away an experience point a long time ago. I'm going to give you a chance. I'm going to give you a chance to get it back. Okay. If you can get this rules question correct about Legend of Five Rings, you'll, you, can, you can get it back. True or I false? I thought I was going to do it through the poetry competition, but okay. True or false? <laughs> True or false? If you're in a conflict, if you're in a skirmish, and you want to make a maneuver to move more spaces than you normally can in a turn, you have to be on water stance. True. False. Give you another chance next really? week. <laughs> you can technically give up your other you action. You don't actually have to do water stance to be on to do a maneuver. It's just an action that you can take at any point on yeah, any stance, and it lets you move your your movement plus another movement, and then you can roll your fitness to move even further. Yeah, wasn't I the one that asked that like a week or a few weeks back? I yep. think I was because uh-huh. that was confusing. Yep. Yeah, the thing with water stance is it allows you to do an additional thing that doesn't require a roll. So if you're on water stance, you can take your move and do a thing that requires a roll. And you can also take a maneuver. or Without rolling. Yeah, without the rolling option. Or you can move, take a maneuver, and as your action that requires a roll, try to go even further. Mm-hmm. Or you can take a a movement, then a calming breath, and then maneuver and maneuver as your action to like move even further. Yep. So next week, I'll give you another chance to get that XP back with another different question. <laughs> oh, Lordy Lou, I'm probably going to fail that one, too. <laughs> hey, at least he made it a true-false, so you had a 50-50. Or just, just go, go watch, watch some of Corey's videos, videos explaining how all these rules work. Yeah. Thanks, everybody out there for watching, especially through all the technical difficulties we had today. Really appreciate that. Uh, if you watch the stream all the way through or you're watching as recording, uh, hit the like button because you obviously liked it. You, you watched all the way through. Subscribe for more. Uh, thanks to our patrons down there uh, for helping out the channel. From Sasha Tarek, Matt, James, Crystal, my name's Corey. Go roll some dice.